Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make any Android device look and feel just like an iPhone on iOS 10. Now I know there have been quite a few videos made on this, but I couldn't find any good tutorials that showed how to set it up. So I thought today I would go ahead and make a full guide showing you guys the entire setup process from start to finish and how to get the final product to look exactly like my phone here. Also, I can already hear everyone typing in the comments, why would you want to do this? Well, for for example, this is a great way of trying out the iOS 10 experience without actually buying an iPhone. Or maybe you just simply want to troll someone you know. Whatever your reason may be, if you find the video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So I'm going to try and keep this tutorial as short as possible and if you're new to the channel I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. Anyway first thing we need to do is head into settings, scroll down until you see security, tap on security and then scroll down until you see unknown sources and toggle on unknown sources. Once you've done that exit back to your home screen and now we can begin to download all the things we'll need to make our device look like an iPhone. So first thing we're going to need is, of course, a wallpaper. So to get the wallpaper, it's actually really, really simple. Just Google iOS 9 or iOS 10 wallpaper, and you'll see a bunch of different wallpapers that you can use on your device. I'm just going to use this one right here. So tap and hold on it. Select Save Image. As you can see, it will download the image. Once you're done, exit to your home screen tap and hold anywhere on your home screen and choose gallery. Now of course it may be a little bit different depending on your device in order to set a wallpaper but however you go about setting a wallpaper just do this and select your wallpaper and then once you've done that you can see we can set the wallpaper and we'll be good to go. As you can see we now have the iOS 9 wallpaper so that's out of the way. Next step is to get the launcher itself. And to do that, it's actually also very simple. All you have to do is go to the first link in the description down below, which is going to bring you here. Once you're here, you just want to scroll down until you see iLauncher version 3.1.4. Tap on it. And then you want to scroll down and enter this right here. So what you want to do is you just want to enter whatever it says right there. Once you've done that, hit start download. You should get this pop-up right here and the reason you're going to get this pop-up is because it's going to give it to you whenever you download anything outside of the Google Play Store. So there's really nothing to worry about. I have used this launcher on a bunch of different devices and I've had no problem with it. So just tap OK and as you can see it will begin to download and I just want to go ahead and wait for that to finish downloading. Once it's done, tap on it, select Next, Install. And once you've done that, select done. Now, if we exit to our home screen, and we should get this right here, which will allow us to choose a launcher. Of course, we want to select the eye launcher. And just like that, we have the launcher. So the next step is to tap on the home button again, and we want to select eye launcher as our default launcher. So you want to select always. And now whenever you exit to your home screen, it will automatically use the eye launcher as your default. So now that we've got that out of the way, the next step is to get iNoti, which will allow us to get the iOS style notification center. So to do that, it's actually pretty simple. What you want to do is you want to go back into Google and go to the second link in the description below, which will bring you here. And once you're here, you just want to scroll down again and you can select the newest version of iNoti just by tapping on the top one like that and scroll down. And like we did with iLauncher, you want to go ahead and enter whatever it says right here. Once you've done that, tap Start Download. We'll get the same pop-up we got with iLauncher, tap OK, and as you can see, it will begin to download. Once it's done, go ahead and tap on it, tap Next, Install, and just like that, we're done. Now if you tap Done, you can see if we exit to our home screen and we scroll over, you can see we have iNoti right here. Now if we go ahead and launch that, as you can see, if we enable it, it will switch this right here. And if we swipe down on it, you can see we do have an iOS style notification center, which is actually very fluid and surprisingly works really well, actually. And if we exit to our home screen, you can see it does have a blur effect just like it does in iOS. So at this point, we're almost done. There's only a couple other things we need to do. 
But before I continue with the tutorial, I want to take a minute just to show you guys some of what this launcher can do. And it's actually pretty amazing just how close this looks to iOS. I mean, if you just took a quick glance at it, you'd think it was running iOS 8, iOS 9, or iOS 10. It's really close, actually. And even like the animations as you scroll between pages, they're very smooth and it's hard to notice. And even like iNoti, for example, right here, it's very smooth and it actually works very well. Now, as you can see, if we tap and hold, we do have this wiggle animation and we are able to create folders and the animations on the folders are very clean as well. And you can change the name if you want. So you can name it whatever you want, just like this. And it does work. So if you tap the check mark, just like that and if we tap the home button it will set that so pretty cool and we can also uninstall apps directly from this launcher by tapping on the x icon right here i'm not going to uninstall this but as you can see you can do that also if you tap and hold then tap on the icon you can see we can change the title so for example if you have like a third party app that you actually prefer more than the stock app then you can actually replace it by changing the name of it which is pretty cool also, you can set the app as your default, things like that. You can hide it, you can change the icon, which is something interesting because I know some of the icons aren't actually iOS theme, like for example, camera and gallery. And I'm not gonna take the time to go through the entire process in this video, but if you want, you can get the icon images off Google and tap and hold and select a new image as your icon. So pretty cool. So overall, that's pretty much it for iLauncher. So the next step is we're going to actually be adding a control center as well as adding an iOS keyboard. So to do that, we're actually going to download it from the Google Play Store. So I'm just going to search for control center OS 10, which is the first thing we're going to be downloading. And this is a newer version of the control center. It's got a little bit of a cleaner look. The other one didn't work very well. So I'm just going to install this right here. Tap accept. And while that's downloading, we can go ahead and download the other thing we're going to need, which is the keyboard. So it's called Emoji Keyboard 7. And of course, I'll have links to everything in the description down below. So if you don't want to search for it, you can just click on the link down there and that'll bring you straight to it. So I'm just going to tap install on this as well. And this is actually a very popular app, over 5 million downloads. So this does work really well like a normal keyboard. So if we just exit to our home screen, I'm just going to let those finish downloading. So once they're done downloading, you can go ahead and open them up and enable them. So I'm just going to enable this right here first. And now if we exit to our home screen, you can see if I swipe up, I will get the iOS 10 style notification center. And it does work. As you can see, if I toggle off Wi-Fi, it will toggle it off just like that. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and enable Emoji Keyboard 7. So that's going to give us the iOS style keyboard. So you want to set it up. So tap Activate Me. Tap Get Started enable in settings toggle on emoji keyboard 7 tap ok tap switch input method tap english and tap finished so once you've got it all set up you may need to reactivate it since i found sometimes it doesn't automatically activate the keyboard so what you want to do is you want to go into local you want to tap on default tap out of default then tap back on white flat and tap out of white flat and you may be wondering why you want to do that well sometimes it won't actually activate the ios theme keyboard so once you do that if we open up an app that uses a keyboard as you can see we do have this theme right here that does work pretty well so anyway guys that's pretty much it now if you're wondering about how you can customize iLauncher you can use the preferences app and from here you can customize a few different things such as enable a fifth row so if you have a device that has a larger screen, you may be able to use that. Also, if you have an older device and you find it to be a bit laggy, you can enable low quality animation, which might help a little bit. Now, if you're wondering how to delete iLauncher since they do remove the app once you install it, basically all you have to do is go into settings, tap on apps, search for iLauncher, tap on it, and you can tap on the trash can and it will delete iLauncher. So if you would like to uninstall iLauncher, if you find you don't prefer it over stock Android, then you can delete the application by going to settings, apps, and deleting iLauncher. So it's pretty simple, but that's about it, guys. If you have any other questions regarding this video, leave them down in the comment section below. If you have any other questions regarding other videos, leave them down in the comment section below. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button and of course, subscribe for future videos. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.